Hi, this is Michelle. I'm going to teach you how to take an old clock and make it beach shabby chic. Okay, as you can tell, I'm new to uh, this video game, but uh, you'll be my guinea pig and I'll get better as we go along. This is some sand that I picked up at the dollar store. There's a better picture at the end of the video, but I used the natural colored sand for this. And I just picked up some extra fine glitter over at Walmart and mixed them together. And you'll see a little bit later on how it came out. I'm using a white chalk paint for this. When I mean chalk paint, I mean it has um, added ingredients to give it uh, a really good uh, clean matte finish and it adheres to pretty much everything. Here you can see that I've marked out with chalk where my numbers are going to go. This is before we put the sand on and everything so that uh, I'll know where to put my seashells to mark the numbers. I just mixed in some Mod Podge and a little bit of water. Not very much, maybe you know, a tablespoon just to thin it out a little bit so I could get a, a nice um, coating on the face of this clock so that I could get the sand spread out evenly and it would, wouldn't have any lumps and bumps and it really did, it worked out well for that. I uh, actually think this might be the second coating. So after I let that sand dry, I had to put a second coating of sand on it uh, because it just, it was was not thick enough to cover it but the second coating really did a good job and it looks wonderful. You'll need 12 flat seashells to represent the numbers on the clock, and they need to be flat so that the arms of the clock don't hit them. Here it is. I think it's really pretty. I'm really happy with the way it came out, and I hope you like it as well. There it is on the wall. It's adorable. Beach shabby chic. Now just a few other views so that you can kind of, you know, see the shabby, chic, get a look at the shells, see the glitter. Here's a close-up. Look at how adorable those shells are. You should definitely use little shells. You're going to need to look for little shells. There it is. Another good shot. That's pretty much it. A little sunshine. Try to take it outside for you to see. Better lighting. I'm learning. This is a better photo of the glitter and the sand, although I used natural sand color. Here is the final project hanging on the wall. I love it, I love it, I love it. And this is me saying thank you for stopping by to watch my video. I appreciate it.